Alpha, are we finally alone again? Hmm, I think so. Boy, that was a way bigger commotion than I expected. No, I told them I'm not a phantom thief, but they kept fussing me. Oh, so sick. All right, now that we've gotten some closure, it's probably a good time for us to head off. Indeed. Their wells are never easy, but we shouldn't pass up the opportunity to escape. It's too bad we didn't find out how this place affects the real world. Hopefully we'll get some answers when we get back. Oh, hey! I found our ever-elusive door! Look! Over there! The more I look at it, the more it strikes me. This is like the one we saw in LeBlanc. Then, does that mean home's on the other side of this door? That's an exciting thought, isn't it? <laughs> Can I... Is it really wise for me to go back? Toshiro? I'm sorry, I just can't help but dwell on Marie's last words. Oh, you mean her rant about your crimes? <laughs> she was just trying to twist the knife one last time. That's certainly true, but... If I'm truly a criminal like Marie said, perhaps taking me back with you is actually a poor idea. Hmm. Well, if you can believe it, I've been in your shoes. I had a pretty serious bout of amnesia myself. You did? Yeah. I didn't know who I was or why I existed. I couldn't remember anything. I definitely know how much it can weigh down on you. Hmm. <laughs> but thanks to Joker and the Phantom Thieves, I was able to grow and move past that. And you can do the same thing too. Now that you've got us. <laughs> you said it. No matter how you were in the real world, we'll always remember when you had our backs. Plus, I already told you. If you turn out rotten back home, we'll knock some sense into you, no matter how many slugs it takes. <laughs> if you need it, I could lend a hand. Well, now, I certainly hope it doesn't come to that. I've seen just what your hands can do. Thanks, everyone. I suppose I can hold my whining down until we're home. I'll tag along for now, just to make sure you're getting home safely. All right, here we go. Back to the real world. Hope you're all ready for this. You do the honors, Joker. Take us home, right? 
somehow we've gone from a strange world resembling Europe to a town that looks right out of Bakumatsu-era Japan? If there are any more inexplicable occurrences, it might fry my brain! Hold my power! I'm ready! 
I'm ready. with this place? Uh, technically we are, but... <sighs> uh, finally caught up. Oh, that sprint again. Gave me side cramps. Uh. Mm -hmm. Is something wrong? Wait, wait, it's this place again? The 
The part where we're shocked is already over, Pops. I wonder... Could our cognition have something to do with this? That's all I can think of. But it still doesn't explain what it's doing here. Ugh. Hey, is your brain fried again? No, I'm all right. Well, I'm certainly baffled, but... There's something vaguely familiar about this coffee shop. Perhaps even nostalgic. No, my mind must be playing tricks on me. Please, forget it. Feel free to come inside. Allow me to show you around. This way, please. The inside's just like LeBlanc, too. First, allow me to thank you all for saving me. My name is Yuki. I am the proprietress of this tea house. Forgive me if this is rude, but you don't seem... From around here. Oh, and your manner of dress appears to have changed as well. Oh, right. I guess we should tell you about ourselves. Yes, I agree. To start off. Um, so, in other words, you come from a far off land where you engage in phantom thievery, and now you're looking for a way to return home. Yes, that sounds about right. Well, I should add that I'm a bit of an exception. Huh? Hmm? Is something wrong? No, I just feel as though I've seen your face somewhere before. I probably shouldn't be saying this, but... I'm supposedly a wanted criminal. Perhaps you recognize me from the posters throughout town? Oh, yes, that must be it. I never thought I'd see you in person. In that case, you never know where Yoshiki's eyes may be. So for now, please take this. Oh, it must be a disguise, right? It should be useful. <gasps> it really suits you. <laughs> She's right! Looks good on you, Pops! Yep, <laughs> totally suits you. <laughs> They'll never figure out who you are now. This is ridiculous. Half of my face is still showing. In fact, I look even more like a common thief now. A disguise is supposed to... Let's get back on topic. So, Yuki-san, we've got a question for you. Who is this Yoshiki guy? Yoshiki is the general who leads... No, who controls this country. His conduct may very well make him a dictator. Anyone who even slightly defies Yoshiki will be captured by his eyes. But what eyes? They're likely surveillance cameras. I saw them in the town when we ran away. That is correct. He says he uses them for people's safety, but it's only an excuse for his surveillance. So if Lord Yoshiki isn't happy with someone, he'll have them arrested with no questions asked, huh? Yes. Could everyone gather around? Yes, Lady Yuki? Is that...? No, it's not one of the Rebel Corps. But there are similarities. They are the citizens of this country who have become victims of Yoshiki's reign. Some of us were falsely accused of crimes. And some had their families taken away. Ever since we lost our homes, Lady Yuki has kindly let us shelter here. However, it caught Yoshiki's attention. Which is why his men interrogated me. Okay, I think I get the gist now. More citizens being exploited by a tyrannical ruler. Just like the last world. Last time, Marie ended up being your fiancé. Does Yoshiki ring any bells? Sorry, but not at the moment. Also, there's one other thing I'd like to ask. Yuki-san, how do the people in this world feel about Yoshiki? Despite how badly everyone is treated, the town still appears to be somewhat peaceful. Well, that's because... <laughs> That's... Everyone, look outside! Ho ho ho! 
I'm pleased to see you all quietly gathered here. Excellent! All citizens who are righteous and happy exemplify a beautiful state of perfect harmony. And thus, unhappy citizens are truly nothing but useless, no, injurious to this country. Now tell me, are you all happy? Yoshiki. He's the general who rules this country. Ah, it brings me such joy to see my citizens display their love for me. Today, once again, peace reigns in my country as it should. Yes, sir. Only possible because of your love, Lord Yoshiki. Oh, oh, oh. you're exactly right. Yes, this is real. Lord Yoshiki! What do you think you're doing? Can't you see Lord Yoshiki is speaking? Oh, it's quite all right. Go on and speak. Yes, sir. Well, some time ago, my family had the honor of being selected to join your labor of love. But many moons have passed and they still haven't returned. Hey! What's your mouth? Are you objecting to Lord Yoshiki's methods? Of course not! I, I would never! I, I, I just... I, I miss my family. Well, this simply won't do. All citizens of my country are my family. In other words, your family is my family. And I will not let you endure such sorrow. So, they can come home? Oh, I know. How about... You may also participate in the labor of love. That way, you and your family can be together again. Isn't that nice? You really let me see my family again? Why, of course. I'll make the arrangements immediately. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Lord Yoshiki, always so compassionate. His love really is endless. Now listen carefully. Remember that my love will always watch over you. Yes, to see is to love. And these eyes of love see all. <laughs> As you can see, this is the current situation in our country. On the surface, Yoshiki serves as a well-meaning ruler. That surface seems to be paper-thin as is. Yes. It is all merely a false pretense Yoshiki uses to serve his own ends. He claims the cameras are for safety, and that he takes people away to protect them. However, he only wants to be rid of any potential dissent that threatens his power. He mentioned something about a labor of love, but that's gotta be... It is exactly as you fear. Though he calls it love, people are actually taken to a forced labor camp. Once he takes them, most never return. <sighs> How do you know so much, Yuki-san? It's because I myself had to flee from Yoshiki's castle. After learning of Yoshiki's crooked ways, Miss Yuki took us with her and escaped. Yet, I was only able to bring a few people with me. The rest are still... Hey, but if you know the crap he's been doing, why don't you tell everybody? Well, you see... Even if you spread the truth, people think so highly of his love that they wouldn't believe you. You're exactly right. There's no point trying to convince them with words. They need to witness it with their own eyes. That's why all I can do for now is hide these citizens here. Oh, man. This is even more troublesome than Marie's kingdom. He kept going on about love, but he's nothing more than a con man, huh? Don't forget about the slavery, too! <sighs> he's a dictator who exploits his people. I'll never forgive him! Right? 
<laughs> that obvious? Let's just say you tend to act before you think when it comes to injustice. I'm worried you'll charge into action all on your own. Uh, hey, I wouldn't do anything that stupid, you know. We just got here and I still haven't witnessed everything firsthand. But if it's as Yuki says and these injustices are being committed, can't lose sight of our purpose. The goal of the Phantom Thieves is still to return to your original world, correct? So in that case, I'm here to help you make that happen. We appreciate it. But you can't exactly say Yoshiki is entirely unrelated to our goal, right? What do you mean? It didn't bring us home, but the door we used to get here was in Mari's castle. Basically, because she was the ruler of that kingdom, the door was in her place. So if we followed that logic, it wouldn't be strange if there was also a door in Yoshiki's place. That's true. We don't have any leads, so it might be worth investigating. Furthermore, there's a good chance that Yoshiki is already watching us. Because of the cameras, the chances of resolving this peacefully are... near non-existent. Oh, well, they weren't swayed by my peace talk. So it comes to this again. Basically, we're saying that picking a bone with Yoshiki suits us just fine. You guys... Yes, I agree. Bring it on, Yoshiki! Hey, don't get the wrong idea. We'll only fight if we absolutely can't avoid it, and... Yeah, yeah, I know. What was that half-hearted response? You're too easy to read. Oh, excuse me. May I have a moment? Do you all intend to fight Yoshiki and the Aizen Squad? Aizen uh, Squad? They work for Yoshiki, and they're responsible for keeping the public order. However, all they do is control people through surveillance and violence. Which means, the fight we just had was with... Yes, they were members of the Aizen Squad. As you have seen, they'll rush in if they sense anything amiss in town. This may be a bit difficult. If we move recklessly, it will cause a commotion like we did earlier. We'll have to do something about those cameras first. Any ideas, Futaba? Hmm, well, if there are cameras throughout the entire town, it's unlikely there's only one surveillance site. They would need to have several places around town where they can monitor the footage from the cameras. If I can hack into the system from there, I might be able to blow up the entire network. A network system in Bakumatsu era, Japan? Nope, I won't think about it. Yuki-san, do you know where these surveillance sites might be? I think so. The Aizen Squad has several bases located inside the town. So, if we're going to make a move, we need to target there first. Please, wait. Do you really intend to fight the Aizen Squad? We're prepared to if we must. Oh, but we won't involve you or the citizens. Oh. Miss Yuki, maybe they could... Yes, you're right. It would appear you're all quite skilled in combat. Because of that, I would like to ask you all for a favor. There are rumors of another labor camp at the Aizen Squad base, much like the one at the castle. If the rumors are true, I'd like you to free the people imprisoned there. There's even a chance my family might be there! Please, could you lend us your strength? So that's how it is. What do you say? You'd say that. I agree. In addition, we still owe Yuki for saving us. I'm on board too. Let's bust them all out of there in one go. Wait, really? Thank you very much. I'd like to offer my thanks as well. Of course, I will also do my best to assist you. Although you are all very skilled, the Aizen Squad has far too many members. It would be unwise to fight them head on. Then you have a plan? Yes, though it will require a bit of traveling. Once your preparations are finished, I can show you the way. Looks like we're gonna leave the hideout. Well, let's make sure we're prepared for anything.
a moment. What you're saying is... I deeply apologize. What shall you do? The awakening of a new power. Now then, make your decision. Is this persona acceptable? One moment, please. Are you finished? Make sure you're well prepared. Everything good? Thanks for your purchase. What would you like? You have a- All right, here you go. Please, take your time. Everything good? Thanks for your purchase. Dismantle a weapon. Which one will you choose? Which weapon do you choose? Weapon will you choose? Which weapon will you choose? Which one will you Are you finished? The awakening of a new power. Now then, make your decision. Now then, make your decision.
Is this for so please? Wait just a moment. Is this persona acceptable? Is this for one moment, please? Is this for please? Wait just a moment. Is this for one moment, please? Is this for so please wait just a moment? Is this for one moment, please? Is this for so please? Wait just a moment. Is this for one moment, please? Is this for so please? Wait just a moment. What would you like to do? I have some new items. Want to see? You have a thanks for your purchase. Please, take your time. What would you like? Make sure you're well prepared. What would you like? Make sure you're well prepared. Stop by anytime. Is that all right? 